the twelfth day of Christmas, Son Goku gave to me twelve Kinkai's yelling, eleven Goku's eating, ten Krillin's failing, nine broken scouters, eight Vegeta's raging, seven Dragon Balls, six Nappa's playing, five Cybermen, four broken ribs, three lost moons, two screens of DODGE, and a desk of mahogany. <sighs> What's going on YouTube? I bet you did not expect that for an intro. You never know what to expect. On the strong community, I was gonna change it up. I wanna change it up. Not always to have a specific intro, just keeping things fresh and just being sincere. That's what it's all about. But anyway, I'm making this video tonight with I don't even know what I'm gonna talk about. But maybe this might be my only video, I'm not sure. You know, you guys know I like to do different videos, like maybe three videos in one night, then I have time to edit and then upload them once every two days. Kind of stretches it out a little more. Then I get to spend more time on what I'm editing and come up with new ideas. But tonight, I don't have any other idea but except for just this. And I may do Would You Rather because that just came to my mind and we have not done that in ages. Now I need to really calm down and try to make sense of what I'm saying. So, what's up everyone? Merry Christmas to you! I'm pretty sure you're probably seeing this Christmas. That's if I do actually decide to make a second video tonight, but this is probably the only one I want to do. Maybe. So ever since I can remember, my family has always celebrated Christmas on Christmas Eve. I guess it's always been a family tradition to do it that way. And all of my friends would be kind of jealous of me because I get to open my gifts before they even open theirs, which would be the next morning, which is what people usually do. But hey, we're, we're a weird family anyway, so we got to keep it weird, as weird as possible. Come to think of it, I think we're weird just to keep normal people out. If you're a normal person, more than likely we're not going to really connect and we're, we're yes, we're just going to be a separation in between us. You know, we can't get that close. So if you're one of those normal people celebrating Christmas on Christmas Day, <laughs> Yeah, I got to open mine. I'm more than likely, I've already opened my presents. And again, uh, this may I may upload this like days before Christmas, but more than likely, I won't be able to upload anything because Starbucks is not open. Oh, that's pretty sad. Where is this video going? I don't know where it's going. I'm just talking crazy out of my head right now, and it feels pretty good. That's what I like to do. That's probably what I'm best at. <laughs> that and being quiet. I'm, it's either I'm quiet or I'm this way and I just ramble on about nothing and I look like a major idiot. Like I majored in idiocracy. <laughs> Let's just change the subject and see if that will help me. I highly doubt it will. Last week I just realized that I have not been keeping up with my vlogs. Vlogs coming back! Another thing that comes to my mind and I can say it every video and I know it will probably get annoying after a while to you guys. It doesn't ever get annoying to me. But I just want to give you guys a sincere thank you for watching my videos. As dumb as I could be is like crazy far-fetched weird Going back to the weird thing, we want to stay away from Christmas. As strange and peculiar as I can be, I'm glad you guys accept me for the way I am, how I'm... I think I'm different than everyone else. Like, do you think I'm different th from everyone else? And it's such a good kind of different, I'm really hoping you're, that's what you're saying. But yeah, thank you guys so much for just staying faithful in the comment section. Like, comments really mean so much to me. And like, of course, clicking like, that's okay. I, I like when people like my videos, I'm not gonna lie. But when you take the time to actually watch the video and actually comment the video, that is very precious to me. I said it once before, I'll say it a thousand times. Best thing about YouTube is reading the comments, not just making the videos. Probably 50% of the fun on YouTube is reading the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching me and just supporting me. The channel is slowly growing. You know, I'm still kidnapped, you know, we got about like two clowns outside. I got a clown watching me from the kitchen right now. No one's in the room with me right now. I'm just kind of doing this alone with the door shut. But, you know, we're going to get the 10,000. It may be a slow process. It may be uh, December 31st, but we're going to hit 10,000 subscribers somehow, some way. And I don't know, like, I'm not going to depend on just, okay, I'm hoping this video goes viral. I'm hoping that video goes viral because I want to keep doing what you guys want me to do because I enjoy making videos that you want me to make. 
because that makes you happy, and that makes me happy. But I want to stay consistent, like just constantly uploading things. I even thought about making videos about the dreams I have. Like some dreams I have, I'm like, God, why are you giving me these dreams? Did God even give me these dreams? More than likely not. I'm, I'm just dreaming out of my head. But my dreams can be so creative and so weird, awkward, and scary. So I want to incorporate any creativity I get into making these videos and I already have a skit in mind already I think you guys are going to enjoy. But expressing creativity and staying consistent in doing so is just very vital. Even when you think the video is stupid, like I think this video is going to be stupid already because I'm probably not even going to upload it, but who cares? I don't care. I don't care anymore. It always seems like your worst videos end up being your best ones. And unfortunately, my worst videos are my most popular ones on the channel. And I, I just looking back, I almost want to take them down. But like, they're just still getting so many views. And like, I'm getting subscribers some every now and then from those videos. I'm like, heck, why not keep it up? I don't know. Yeah, blah, blah. But once again, thank you everyone for taking the time just to click on my videos. And I hope I'm impacting your life some sort of way. Even if you just click on the video and watch the first minute or so, thank you for doing that. That still means a lot that you gave me the time just to do that alone. So, there have been a few people out there who have given me a shout out and I didn't even ask for it. Like, I'm never going to ask for a shout out no matter who you are. I'm just going to let you do that. And don't think I'm ever trying to fish for a shout out because I kind of don't, I don't want to grow that way. Like, if I'm going to grow... Of course, I want it to be God. It, it has to be all God, but I want it to feel like, you know, I just didn't randomly get there and like, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve 10,000 subscribers right now. The, 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 the way my content is, I like my content is just not worth 10,000 subscribers. I don't care what you guys say. Some of you say I deserve 1 million. If I had 1 million right now or 100,000, my content's not good enough. I don't feel like I'm dedicated enough to sitting down, making a video every single day. I mean, I want to eventually get to that point, but I just don't feel like I'm ready for something that big. And maybe that's why God hasn't blessed our channel to be, you know, humongous right now. Because I don't feel like I'm ready, but I'm preparing. We're, be we're getting prepared. Strongest is getting stronger. Getting off topic once again. Okay, so you guys know, so I watch you guys. All you people who comment, I do watch your videos, all right? I I'm keeping an eye out on you. And I have seen some very talented people that I know have the chance to literally explode like overnight like they could just they have what it takes that's that's all i'm saying so a few months ago bankway gave me a shout out just randomly out of the blue i did not expect that i didn't ask him to do it but he just did it and of course i'll watch your videos man and when i saw that i just went complete fangirl <laughs> So I just can't help myself but to give you a big shout out right back at you, man. Guys, check out Bankway. This dude is funny. I know he has what it takes. He's on a break right now. Uh, he's he's with his fiance, trying to get married. He's working a job, uh, trying to get a computer so he can continue making higher quality gaming videos, play other games. Because I understand how it is, man. You know, you got a crap computer, a rock for a computer. It just doesn't work like that. You may be able to pull off a few games here and there, but a, a if you have a computer like I had, it can't even handle Happy Wheels. I'm currently using my girlfriend's computer right now, and well, it's not the best, but it is actually fantastic for what I'm doing right now on the channel. So I'm praying for you. I'm hoping you get that laptop or computer, whatever you're building a PC, and I hope you do a vlog about it, because I want to see that video, yo. And I want to see your wedding video too. NO PRESSURE! And don't forget to record your honeymoon either. <laughs> just tell your wife, Yay, I'm recording just so I can remember this moment for the rest of my life, okay? Just kidding, don't do that! But definitely don't forget to record your wedding video, because those really do seem like to get a lot of views. Mostly tracks, you know, lonely... Oh my gosh, no, don't do your wedding video. <laughs> <laughs> Bankway, you definitely have a good talent to do this. You got the right personality. I believe you can do it if you stay consistent. As soon as you get everything settled and you can focus on making videos more, you got it, man. You got it. You got what it takes. And the other guy I want to mention, which is Stufu, go check it out right now. This guy also has a God-given talent. He makes me laugh. Both these guys make me laugh. That's why I watch them. <laughs> the creativity of their content is like so up here. It's like, it's still different than everyone else's. It's not like they're trying to pretend to be Corey's Kinchin. Both these guys watch Corey. Uh, it's not like they're trying to be Jack, Septa guy. 
You're not gonna be a Jack the guy, but you can be you, which completely separates and gives you a distinct charisma from everyone else, and which is what draws people to watch your channel more. And I, I'm, am I that way? I hope I'm that way. I, I, I'm the weirdest person on YouTube. Going back to the weird thing, stay away from that. But Stufu just gave me a shout out a few days ago, and that melted my heart, man. You were talking about uh, your grandma, how your, how your family's been struggling after losing her. I understand what it's like to lose loved ones. I lost my sister at a very young age and it has had a major impact on my life today. But I can honestly say that thanks to God, it's drawn me closer to him instead of completely pushing me away to make God, the whole Jesus thing, a complete turnoff. And right now, me and you can have the same hope that both of our loved ones are with Jesus right now, praising God forever, all eternity, and we can go be with them again someday if we continue to uplift the Lord just like they did in their life. There's, there's no doubt about it. We have a hope to hold on to, so don't ever let go of that hope. But Stufu, man, I really want to give you a thank you for that shout out. I mean, both of you guys, Stufu and Bankway, just completely melted my heart. I couldn't believe it. I showed my parents, like, both videos. They were, they just couldn't believe it. They were like, oh my gosh, people giving my son shout outs. It's going crazy. He's becoming a f professional YouTuber with 575 subscribers. Hey, we're, we're moving on up. Seriously, we're moving on up. But once again, go check out both of these channels. I promise you, you will not regret watching these guys. They will make you laugh. They will make you sweat tears because you're laughing so much. So, Mr. Strombro has been recording for 34 minutes and 38 seconds. So I think it's about time to close the shop. Still thinking about making another video tonight. Oh, and before I close the video, I want to let you guys know if you have fan art, we got an email for you to send fan art to. I know some of you have been talking about fan art, so, and you may have sent it in the past, but I'm not an email person, so it's really hard to keep up with it. MrStrombro at gmail.com, and the reason why I've decided to make a new email and not, you know, the same one that I made with this account is because later on down the road, if we ever do reach 10,000 subscribers, which I hope so, because I don't want to die, you know, as long as people know your email address, they can literally get every single password you've ever created using that email. So I definitely don't want that to happen. If my account gets, hacks, it gets hacked again, and it's not by a seven-year-old girl, I'm going to cry. I'm going to sweat tears, like I said earlier. If you got fan art, send it to the email. Email is also going to be in the description. Ow, my freaking. And eventually, I'd like you guys to create a new dashboard for me. You know, an outro thing. That would be pretty cool. An outro template. Outro. I like outro templates. And of course, a place for the scripture. You know how it goes. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, you already know what to do, ladies and gentlemen. Please make sure to wreck that like button. Subscribe, corner of the strongest. And I will see you guys whenever I see you, which may be after Christmas, so see ya. Oh! Oh!